Welcome back to the show, everybody. Ripple finally gets a win. It's not the SEC case, but we'll take one in the win column, that's for sure. And more importantly, let's talk about price. We're at that 47 cent mark. If we can keep going, getting that 50 cent range, I'm telling you, we're going to discuss and really break down some prices thanks to Crypto Wizard. Let's go ahead and roll that beautiful intro. Here we go. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley above at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here, just above 47 cents. It's the time to talk about it. So we're going to. And I've also told you about the NFTs, the dot cryptos that are on sale for the first time in history. They're offering transportation and travel category. It just opened up late yesterday afternoon. And look at what has happened here. You can see this is just more than a craze. People understand what is coming in the future, and the new dot com is dot crypto, no doubt about that. Florida rentals, that's a goodie. Oh, that is a goodie. Yeah, I've got vacation rentals dot crypto, just so you know. And as I promised, I wanted to celebrate a few of you and help bring attention to some of the dot cryptos that you have. For instance, uh, at C O N seven nine nine six four five eight seven on Twitter says that he has Galactic Crypto dot crypto. That's a great name. And then here I wanted to celebrate one of our own, Jamie Nix here, who says he has digital signs dot crypto, indoor signs dot crypto, outdoor billboard dot crypto. And outdoor signs dot crypto. And again, I love helping you guys out. And I know for a fact that some of you have actually benefited from it. So I love doing this for you guys. And dot crypto era on Twitter says he also owns dot crypto era dot crypto. So get some of that. Shout out to each and every one of you. The, there are some really great names, and all week long is March Madness. So that's why I'm telling you guys about it and really pounding the ground with it because it's the first time these have ever been offered. So make sure you check all those out. Link in the description and the comment box. Let's go ahead and get into this from Mr. B XRP. Shout out to you, my friend. Congrats to JP Terriot and Uphold. I heard today in a conference that you did more business in February than all of last year. Now, you tell me where the crypto space is going. Shout out to JP and the Uphold team. That is remarkable progress. In one month, you outdo all of 2020. Whoa, that is impressive. By the way, the conference he's talking about is the Link to conference. There is another day today. Don't miss it. There were some great clips yesterday from digital asset investor who released uh tim draper clips and they were amazing i covered it in my morning video make sure you check that out as well and go join the link to family register become an accredited investor and if not they have the tools necessary to help you prepare to get your series 65 so you can get it right there and then become accredited yourself there you go all right, here we go. Uh, Michael Val five links. The instrument allocates 20% to MicroStrategy, the data analytics firm with 91,064 Bitcoin on its balance sheet. It also provides direct exposure to Square 18% and Riot Blockchain 15%, two companies with significant exposure to Bitcoin. What are we talking about? We're talking about JP Morgan launching a new crypto exposure basket. If you don't want to hold, you know, a lot of investors out here don't understand crypto. It's still that early. So they say, look, I want to be exposed to some of this stuff, but I don't want to go through the trouble of holding it. I hear it's a real pain in the ass, right? So what they'll do is they'll basically say, hey, we're offering, you know, exposure to this basket of companies that has e enormous exposure to Bitcoin. And by buying the stocks of those companies and, and, and being a part of that investment basket there, you will have access to crypto because of their their weighted investments in their portfolios. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, all right, let's keep it going here. YouTube and Ripple settle the lawsuit. Will fund cybercrime nonprofit. Well, let me tell you. As someone, as a YouTube influencer out here, that no longer really can comment on my own uh, 
comments in my YouTube section because I don't want to confuse any of you that there are imposters on my pages and we report them every single day. I have an assistant that helps me and she is amazing and she's constantly reporting and getting rid of these scammer documents and they are or, or comments and they just keep coming back but we keep reporting them. We will not give up and just so you know as a full disclosure and public service announcement I no longer comment on the videos because I don't want to confuse anyone. I have a disclaimer comment in the description and the comment section that tells everyone to beware of scammers. I never ask for money. I will never ask you for money. So make sure that you do not respond to anything that says digital perspectives because I can't. E I don't even comment. We're trying to get it resolved with YouTube, but they do nothing. So I certainly have felt the frustration that Brad Garlinghouse has. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. House said that the legal settlement will involve Ripple and YouTube funding a nonprofit together dedicated to helping the victims. Let's look a little further in here. Garlinghouse also said he's open to calls for reforming Section 230, which has been a safe haven for a lot of social media platforms, a powerful law that protects the tech companies from being liable for the behavior of their users. The settlement in the YouTube lawsuit came after a judge threw out an earlier version of Ripple's lawsuit, citing Section 230 itself. In that ruling, the judge described how the scammers had taken over YouTube channels and populated them with fake Ripple content, noting in some ways YouTube, too, is a victim of the hijacking. Oh, that is that is deplorable. You know, YouTube is not a victim in any of this because YouTube took the money for the key advertising words that those scammers are buying. <laughs> Duly noted. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get into price because we're going to need a minute on this. And this is really, really cool stuff. And I want to thank Crypto Wizard. You can follow them on Twitter. They have a paid group if you want to be a part of that. And I just, I'm really grateful because, you know, I've been looking for someone in this moment we're in with price. Like I said, we're at 47 cents right now. That is a key resistance level. And we know that if we can get above that and turn that resistance into support, then we can really start talking about some cool cool things coming our way for xrp holders i believe none of this is financial advice obviously you know but we're just looking at this to see what other people's uh perspectives and thoughts and insights are so let's take a look at that now and uh xrp daily technical outlook from crypto wizard xrp btc has now a falling wedge which should have a bullish breakout in the next few days a bullish XRP BTC will push XRP above 53.50, 53 cents. It'll trigger the big inverse head and shoulders, which will push XRP even higher. Both our trades are running in good profit at the moment, he says. So shout out to Billy and Martin for that. I really do appreciate that. And I pulled up the trading view chart that he had sent me. And like I said, I really do appreciate these technical analysis people out here working hard because I believe as a real fundamental investor and long-term investor for myself, I don't trade as much as a lot of other people do. Um, so for me, this is really important to watch. I love seeing this stuff. I do have some good, solid, basic TA skills, but I love when the people who really, really are versed at this stuff uh, are kind enough to share. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can see the layout on the chart here uh, where we currently are, and they're showing the slowdown uh, zone he gives here, but you can see here this uh, descending triangle that he's showing or, 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 or trend that we're looking at, and we're, we're looking to get above this. So if we can get, look, this is a nice range he talked about here, right? The 53.50. If we get here, and we're talking about really moving up here. He also goes on to say in a message that he gave me, uh, big institutional investors care about two things. First is whether the company company is legitimate with a good team behind it. In XRP's case, that is a solid yes. Second, they care about its alpha, which is the minimum bearish drawdown against the potential upside. How about that one? XRP has enormous alpha right now. It is heavily undervalued and the price is cheap. Any drawdown will be covered very quickly. 
In the technical standpoint, Crypto Wizard goes on to say that the technical chart is extremely bullish. The XRP is above 46 cents. And by the way, this chart is XRP to USDT. So just so you understand. Um, but he goes on to say that um, the XRP is above XRP is above 46 cents, which is a very strong wizard line. Daily chart has a huge inverse head and shoulders, which I first publicly identified before its formation on February 1st. Post dumped whilst everybody was screaming for the death of XRP. Uh, XRP BTC is now forming a falling wedge after failing a uh, W pattern, which is even more bullish than the falling wedge has minimum 75% uh, upside move target when it breaks. That will push XRP away from way higher from here. He goes on to say the next price targets that he's looking at, as you can see over here on the side, you will see some of them as we talk here. Uh, he's talking about 5350, which we covered as a next point to watch out for if we move up. And if we continue to move up, we're looking for 71 cent target. And then the next one be in the 95 cent range and then a dollar 50. And if we should push higher than that, we could hit the $2.25 mark. All of them are medium-term bullish targets. Medium-term bullish target. And the long-term target is for $5.40. Yeah, we like that a lot. We like that a lot. So, again, this is the XRP to USDT, even though he did reference some of that as uh, XRP to BTC and how that is, is uh, correlating. But at, the, at, at, at any rate, this to me gives me some targets to look for based on what happens with fundamental news. He did say earlier in the writing uh, to me in a message here that obviously if we were to get a settlement, he sees that uh, if we were to see a settlement with the SEC um, and Ripple Labs, it will result in a huge parabolic move and we're leaning in towards a settlement as am I. So I really thank you to Crypto Wizard, Billy and Martin and everybody who provides TA work. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is very exciting to me and don't forget if you are a trader reach out to clinton donnelly crypto tax fixer it is tax time and if you're confused about anything with your taxes reach out look at this comment he leaves here everyone should contact their representative to make a case for a crypto tax amnesty pro amnesty program i love the sound of this and if the irs fails to do that i can lay out an affordable strategy for people to get back into compliance if they want to comply and i hope that you do no doubt about that all right that's going to do it for me shout out to everybody who provided the information today i appreciate each and every one of you make sure you follow me on twitter guys i uh, i want to beef up the the twitter following here we just uh, crossed over 40,000. Let's hit 50,000. I got a birthday coming up in April. I'll turn 50. Let's see if we can hit 50,000 subs on Twitter and 100,000 subs on YouTube. I'll catch all of you on the next one.